Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you how you can set up Apache Tomcat server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Apache Tomcat server with all of its prerequisites. So from this product page, simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, simply scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements. And then go over the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can leave the network settings as default. After that, scroll down and click on accept the agreement and then click on deploy. Now this is going to start the deployment process. So simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, we need to create an administrator account in the Windows Server 2019. Now for this, simply click on this drop down arrowhead and then click on set Windows password. And in here, you're going to provide a username. So I'm going to type mine as CIS admin. After that, click on set and wait for a few moments and it would show you your password for logging in into the RDP connection of our virtual machine. So once you get this password, simply save it somewhere safe. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to simply click on this hamburger icon and then click on compute engines. And then you're just going to copy this external IP address, hit windows, type in remote desktop connection, and then simply paste in the IP address in front of this computer field. Then you're going to click on show options. And for the username, it's going to be CIS admin, basically the credentials that we have just created. And then we are going to click on connect. After that, it is going to ask us for the password that we had just stored somewhere safe. So simply type in the password and then click on OK and wait for the connection to be established. Now, once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now, once the Windows Server has completely loaded, the very first step that you want to do is that you want to access the Tomcat Apache web server. Now, this server is hosted on localhost and the port number 8080. To access it, simply click on this desktop icon that says Tomcat. Now, as you can see that our Apache Tomcat server is running perfectly fine. However, we cannot open the server status manager app or the host manager or any other admin portal because we do not have the credentials of the administrator account. So if I try clicking on one of them, it is going to ask me for the credentials, but I do not have the credentials yet. So the next step is going to be to create a new Apache Tomcat user, which is going to be our admin user. Now to do this, the very first step is going to close down this Internet Explorer and then hit Windows and open up the administrative tool known as services. So open this application and then you can see a service over here that says Apache Tomcat 9.0. So right click on it and then hit on stop. So this is going to stop the Apache service. Now we can mess around with the configuration files. Now we're not going to close down this service tab. We're just going to minimize it and then head inside the file explorer. Head inside this PC and then C drive and then Tomcat and then Apache Tomcat version 9 and then the configuration folder. In here, you can see that there is a file named as tomcat user So simply right click on it and open with Notepad. Now, this is going to allow us to mess around with the tomcat users configuration file. In here, if you scroll down and come down to this section right over here, we can create new roles and create new users with particular rules. So the very first step that we want to do within this file is to remove this comment line and this one as well. After that, we are going to be adding in around six different roles, which are going to be for the manager app as well as the admin app. So simply copy this line and paste it a few more times. So the first role is going to be manager GUI. And then we have the manager status. And then we have the manager script. After that, we have the manager JMX. And then we have the admin GUI, which is going to give us the access to the admin portal. And then we have admin hyphen script. Once that is done, then we can create a particular user with a specific username and password or its credentials. So we don't want three users. So I'm just going to remove these two lines. I'm going to create only one user with the username admin and the password admin as well. 
Now here comes the important part. We want to assign particular roles with this particular user which is admin. So the role that I'm going to define are going to be admin hyphen GUI which is going to give it access to the admin portal and the manager hyphen GUI which is going to give it access to the manager portal. Once that is done, simply exit from this file and then click on save. After that, we need to restart the service of Apache. So head back to the services tab and then right click on Apache and then click on start. Now once the Apache service has been started, we can again access it using the desktop icon. And this time around, we can try accessing the manager app. So now it is asking us for the credentials and we have created the user with the credentials, username admin and the password admin as well. So type that in and hit on OK. So as you can see that we were able to access the Tomcat web application manager. So that is how you can create users in Tomcat. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Apache Tomcat web server on Google Cloud Platform. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.